the story between Robin and Marion is kind of at the heart of the film. And it's the, the, the gorgeous, youthful naivety of their relationship that we see right at the start of the film and how that's kind of tainted and warped and ultimately destroyed through the circumstances that surround them. That is what really ignites Rob's passion and makes him become this, 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 this hero. Um, it's been fantastic working with Eve. She's an incredible, very beautiful actress. Um, and I think there's, and that also, what one of the things I love most about that is that never gets earnest or lovey-dovey, you know. They get angry at each other and they, you know, want to strangle each other, but they also find each other hilarious, and, you know, like people, you know, people do when they're in love. It's been amazing working with him and he's so, um, he's been so uncompromising in, pushing the, uh, the, 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 the modern colloquial feel of the film, which was always my big fear, because I, I didn't ever want to be doing a sort of forsooth my lord type of um, Robin Hood. One of the most interesting elements of the whole thing is, is the presence of, um, uh, of steel everywhere and metalwork through the film. I think it's, you know, because obviously Robin Hood, the, the legend was pre-Industrial uh, Revolution, so that in itself, you know, the foundry, uh, element of the film and you know all these raging fires and ash everywhere that all of that is a very clear marker of the fact that we're doing something that's kind of different this isn't um you know wooden shacks in you know in in in, in Sherwood this is a, a different version of the story he wants what feels right looks cool and you know you you create your own cinematic language within the film we don't betray our own version of this world it has its rules but they're rules that we've created rather than a history book I mean, what don't I like about Jamie Foxx? Uh, he's, um, he's amazing to work with. He's such a huge presence and energy on set. He's been incredibly uh, gracious and kind to me. Um, and I love working with him. He's one of those actors who's, you know, I mean, he's, he's an actor, but he's, he's, you know, he's an artist, really. He's, a, he's a, a singer, a writer, a director, you know. He, he's very alive and in the moment and uh, open to what you do. So things shift when you're kind of sparring with him in a scene, uh, depending on from moment to moment. And that's very, very exciting and makes for great watching. I think people will like this movie because it's incredibly innovative and new and fresh in terms of the style of it. It looks, it has a look all of its own. It has fantastic, big, exciting set pieces. I believe that this film treads the balance incredibly well of creating witty, funny, likeable characters with real emotional lives who are involved in mad horse chases, you know, death-defying leaps and crazy fights, all with a twinkle in the eye and some badass costumes. So, I mean, I don't know what more you want, frankly. <laughs>